Gentlemen, my daughter, Cindy Cash, please make a welcome. Hey folks, it's Ron with On Fire Concerts, and we're here today at the Cash Farm, Johnny Cash's farm, and uh, it's an amazing experience. We've been out here today talking to the people that own it, and uh, I'm here with Cindy Cash. Hi, how and, are you? Uh, oh, great, and thank you for doing this today. Sure. This is uh, amazing, and and y'all don't see them, but Mark Cash is here, and different ones here, and uh, but thank you for being with us and sure. telling us. We just want to talk a little bit about the history of the farm and what it meant to you and, or to your dad first and some of your experiences here. Oh my gosh, I have so many memories here. Um, dad liked to come here alone, but every once in a while, uh, more than every once in a while, he would call me up and say, drive me to the farm and stay with me this weekend. And, and I would sleep right here on this couch and he would sleep in his bedroom. I would sleep down here in case he needed me in the middle of the night. Um, because it was always, Cindy, bring me a Coke or something like that. So, um, uh, we shot bullet holes in the ceiling here one night. Just I remember you, you, I remember a story about how that happened. You, you he been said, out, don't you tell June. I never told her. You've been out <laughs> shooting that day or something. We, he taught me how to shoot that day. I was 16. And that night we were, he was watching the news and he was sitting in this, in, at his recliner in that corner. And I was sitting here. He goes, let's see how good you did today. And I said, what do you mean? He said, let's, let's see who can shoot the straightest line of bullet holes in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, we got pretty close. Dude. He said, you go first. So I did. And then he did, right next to mine. And then I did. Till we emptied our guns, and I won. I, I had the, the straightest line. But he said, it's only because I'm a good teacher. The, so he still took credit. <laughs> he takes the credit for yeah. it regardless. <laughs> you know, this this drive out here, I was telling JC, a gentleman with me, I said, you know, this is a peaceful part of the country out here, and it's just so beautiful out here. This was a place where he felt like he could do whatever he wanted. Oh, and, and it's amazing and in this did. house. <laughs> we walked through this earlier today, and his house is amazing. June didn't come here much. She, when, when they come home off the road, they'd been together 24-7. So, you know, she would stay at the house in Hendersonville. And, and he'd come out here. here. This is a good yes, way. right. And... You know, the interesting story here that I have found on this place of of everything, how he came about actually getting the farm. It was a gift from God <laughs> by the devil. No. <laughs> it was actually, um, it was his accountant at the time, which was in 1972, I believe. He was buying up all kinds of properties with Dad's money. And uh, when he got caught, Dad... Dad didn't, he didn't send him to jail, he just fired him, and, and uh, he said, well, let's go see what I own. <laughs> so we, he got in the car and started driving around to see what properties this guy had bought with his money, and he sold all of them except for this. He loved this place. Well, this this is just, like I said, I could see why he say, I'm keeping this, y'all have it. I'm going to sell the rest, yeah. I don't need it, I want this. This I love I think he actually it. thanked him. Yeah, thank you for making a good decision on one yeah. property. Thank you and for I stealing not, my money. That did not authorize, you know. Right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're, of course, you have, uh, well, you got three three sisters, three sis Kathy, three Tara. Three sisters, and... two stepsisters. Oh, okay. Roseanne, Kathy, Tara, and then Carlene and Rosie are June's daughters right. from two previous marriages. And, and uh, but of Johnny's the four daughters, you're the third. Right. Is that correct? Correct. And, and you know, and this, I'm the daddy's girl. The, I about to say you traveled <laughs> with him for twenty seven years, years or something. Yeah. And your song that you do with your dad that I actually shared with JC today that uh, I uh, lay, me, lay me down in Dixie. Dixie. I love that song. Oh, I think I was twenty two. That's like four years ago. He calls you out on stage in the video <laughs> that I seen. You know, and my daughter it's in the cash. You know? I know it's so sweet because it shows us shows holding hands. Yeah, and, and it just it was. Just, it's and, tremendous. It was so sweet. That's the kind of father he was, though. He was a gentle father. He was. He never raised his voice to any of us. Well, the Cash family, I believe, uh, has touched so many lives in, in the music industry in general, other artists and, and everybody. If you know the true story and then know the Cash story. Right. Uh, and what Johnny did for country music is just, you know, uh, you don't. You, you will never be redo, redone. Right. Uh, it was and, an amazing man. And this farm here, 
Let's, I know you're, I don't want to tie you up all long, but tell us about who's the Oxley family. Uh, well, this house was built, a little cabin, it was built in 1837, um, way before the Civil War, by um, Captain Weems was his name. And the Weems are all buried in the family cemetery in the back. There's 107 acres. And when Dad passed away, um, the house was sold to some um, a man that, that didn't live in it full time. And so he decided to sell it because he was getting up there in his years. And Brian and Sally saw it listed and had already bought my grandmother's house that was for sale. Oh, they had bought it? Also, they had I bought didn't know it. that. Okay. And, and, and the funny thing about it is they lived in Japan for 30 years and never heard of Johnny Cash until <laughs> eight years ago. And, and from what I've seen today, that is just remarkable it by is. itself to see all the things that he has, a, has acquired and accumulated yeah. of your dad's. Right. And not just him, but other country music right. items. Uh, it, it's amazing. And the museum here, uh, I'm going to get to go through that finally. And yeah, I've, the been, I've been wanting to see that. And Brian, I hope Brian takes you He through. said he would oh, before we left today. And good. But the stuff I've already seen, I cannot imagine... How do you ever go through all the stuff he's accumulated and uh, and the history that he's preserved? He's a shopper, that's for sure. And and, and the preservation of but all he that. has preserved a lot. I mean, it's amazing. And folks, if you ever him get is, and Sally are two of the of two of my best friends. I, I mean, they're, they have they're treated us people. since we've been here this afternoon. Just amazing. And if you've never been to the Storyteller Museum and and just seen the area. You need to come. Yeah, it's by appointment only right now because of COVID. And um, but if you come to the museum, they'll bring you to the house. And and, and it's you, only a mile down the road. And this house has got some stuff in it that just. Uh, um, it I'm, still looks like it did when Dad lived here. And it's just amazing. So, uh, if you get a chance, call the storytelling museum, make a reservation to come, and bring a group of people. That's and, in Bon Aqua, Tennessee. Right, and it's not far from Nashville, and it's you know yeah. it's a short drive, so it's twenty five to twenty five minutes. Yeah, and if you've never, like I said, if you've never been here and you're a Johnny Cash fan, you, this is a must see. People that come here cry; they just cry. This on is, the line. This is a you know this is the Johnny Cash music. This uh, yeah. is this is the well his house burned down you know eight yeah. years after he passed away. So this to me is really all that's left of, of him that was personal. Right. And so, uh, again, we just wanted to have talked with you briefly this afternoon and just thank you for taking time to do this. Well, thank you. And I hope you, I know you have been under the weather and still took time. Thank you for doing that. No problem. And get to feeling better. I will. And, uh, oh, one other thing that I've got to talk about. Okay. Uh, real quick. Sure. The Long Road Home. Oh, that's, um, that's uh, close to my heart. It's a film that has nine cash family members in it. And I co-produced it with Sally Oxley, and Brian, her husband, produced it. And it's about addiction, and it's um, the Cash family telling their personal side. And uh, my uh, one of my cousins that's in the film died ten days after we finished filming of liver failure from drinking her whole life. So this film is dedicated to her. Um, I wrote I wrote this closing song that's in the film, and um, and my daughter's in it my cousins, my uncle, my aunt, my nephew, just a lot of caches. The stuff. trailer is on YouTube, of course, but I was told today, and I'm just going to share it, that, yeah. that you can watch The Long Road Home by going to longroadhome.com. And that's the first time I've heard that, I mean, because I, I, I said, I, I just been, got my first copy. I said, I, I said, I've been looking for this. It's right there. Yeah, and, I just uh, got my first copy today. The uh, DVD is also available. Yeah. Uh, long, I'm not crazy about it, but. <laughs> picture on the cover but on the, the story is <laughs> remarkable and, and it's so open and honest it is it was it was not easy to, to the make. trailer tells you it's honest if you watch it you know it, it's a they're it's laid out there it is and, and we opened our hearts and told it all and i told you this but the the closing song in that that you wrote uh i had a, i didn't know who sung it till today and it was matt matthew uh, uh, yeah, I wrote the words. He wrote the music. And well, he, and he he performed it. You know, I mean, and he's, so he's singing. He's, well, but, I'm singing it on the film. Okay, with well, I mean, but on, but the, on the video, yeah. yeah, he's singing it. But yeah. the on the video, I, like, I sing. I love yeah. his voice. Oh, what well, the 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 it's song, just, just the song in general, is just well, thank so you. remarkable. And and I mean, 
folks, you, you need to see the long road home. Thank and, you. Uh, and if it uh, saves one life, it was worth making. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, you can't watch it and not be judged. Even if you don't have an addiction, you know somebody that does. Yes. So it can help you help somebody That's else. Right. So thank you again. Thank you very and, much. Uh, I appreciate it. We you are just me. honored to have you be thank with you. us today and for the... Uh, Oxley's letting us come out here and do this. Oh, uh, yeah, they'll Johnny invite you to spend the night. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going, I told Brian, before I leave, I will, we're going to go to the museum because I've got to see that. Yeah, you do. And uh, But again, thank you so much. Thank you. And Ron. folks, uh, don't forget, watch The Long Road Home. Uh, Cindy Cash, thank you. And thank you. The, everybody involved here today. And until next time, we'll see you then. Yay.